Hello, Psyche Truth Nation. This is Melissa Lemonian, and I'm here with the lovely Karina Rachel. Hello. We are going to be doing a fantastic back massage. Well, you can let me know if you think it's fantastic. I'm pretty sure Karina and I are going to be happy with it. All right, so I've already done a really thorough warm-up on her back for our Patreon. So if you're curious about that video, you are more than welcome to go join our Patreon. We have uh, tons of exclusive content on there on a regular basis, and it's just a really fun place to hang out. All right, so today... I have this really fabulous oil that I'm super excited to use. It's a lavender essential uh, oil, massage oil blend. And, and you, hmm? sorry guys. Anyways, so before we go into more about this oil and massage oils in general, um, if you are working with somebody and you're going to use oil on them, it is uh, helpful to apply an, a layer of oil onto your hands and arms first before you start oiling up your person, your friend, your lucky recipient. All right, so... You have uh, about like three or four kind of basic options when it comes to massage. You can use nothing, which is what I demonstrated on that uh, Patreon video. And so that's when you're, do you're using um, more friction, percussion, you know, which is when you're tapping on, tapping on the body. Um, sort of, you know, sorts of moves. And you know, there are benefits to using an oil and there's benefits to going, you know, you know, using, just using nothing. And so there's a modification to using nothing and that is when you add some kind of powder, a baby powder, a little bit of cornstarch. Um, and that can help give you a little bit of traction, especially if you're working on an area that's starting to sweat which is really common when you start to, you know, do like do some deeper releases, especially around like the shoulder and the chest. Uh, so when we want more glide, more movement, more smoothness, that's when it's time, you know, um, you know oftentimes if we want, well, you know, more depth, more flowing depth, I suppose, then that's when a massage oil or cream or lotion comes in handy. So I'm using uh, a lavender oil from a company called Benevolent Nourishment. And one of the one of the first thing I saw that I was like, oh my God, it's amazing, is that they have um, cold, all their oils are cold pressed. And so that basically means that you know, the oils are in their purest, closest to food form. And so, you know, they say, it says on their bottle that you can almost eat every ingredient, which is something to consider because the skin is the largest organ on the body. The skin is very absorbent. And so what you put onto your skin goes directly into your body, into your bloodstream, into your liver and kidneys. And so, you know, that can e it's either a really great way to slowly poison ourselves through the application of chemicals and fragrances, but it also... It's a really great, you know, medicinal therapeutic delivery system for things like uh, lavender oil and um, nutritious food oils. And so this oil has cold pressed sweet almond oil, um, apricot kernel oil, organic olive and sesame oils. And olive and sesame, you know, those aren't oils that I would necessarily, you know, just do a straight massage with. Um, I would do... I have done all of it, but it tends to be a little bit more thick and not doesn't have quite the best glide, but these are super nutritious oils for the skin and body. And so I love that they are 
you know, combining some of these thicker and more nutritious oils with, you know, kind of like these really soft, yummy oils, you know, the apricot kernel and sweet almond. But anyways, one of the best, you know, the other thing that really excited me about this is how strong the lavender scent is. And since the lavender is coming from pure essential oils, it's going to have, um, but you know, a relaxing effect on the body. And in addition, lavender is a really fantastic um, analgesic or topical pain relief ointment. And so, you know, all of that, plus the fact that the oil smells amazing, you're starting to get some leverage by combining, you know, a really nutritious, soothing oil with healing essential oils. And so it will allow you to take your massage, whether you're massaging yourself or somebody else, you know, to another level, you know, you're going to get better results using um, not only just quality oils, but therapeutic essential oils as well. Oops. And so anyways, another thing that you, so you want to look at glide and like the consistency and texture of your oil. Um, I personally like to use uh, straight coconut oil or some kind of blend and sweet almond oil is one of my favorite oils and so this texture like it's a nice solid medium it's um, got some nice stain power but it's also pretty light in you know kind of a, it has it feels light it's not super thick and heavy and greasy you know like a straight olive oil is Grapeseed oil can be a really great, just straight essential, um, I mean, uh, base oil. And again, you want to look for unrefined, cold pressed oils because oils change their chemical, you know, structure when there's heat added, or you know, a lot of sometimes oils are extracted using um, chemical processes. So. That's why as unrefined as possible is always good. So let's see. Coconut's a really great straight one. Olive is, you know, is good, but a little bit heavy. Um, sunflower seed oil is always a great choice. It's pretty, it's like a medium, it's a medium light consistency in it. So it's going to blend, you know, really well with any of your other oils. Another good oil that yeah, you could add to a lighter oil is a jojoba oil. And so that's, um, it starts with a J, right? And it's actually technically a wax. So it is on the richer, thicker side, but it is so moisturizing and luscious that um, I really love to, like I, you know, I've used it as my main face facial moisturizer. Um, and that's gonna just make a really great addition to any kind of massage oil that you're giving. It's possible to find professional dry oil blends. And so these are oil blends um, that are designed to, to be dry, to be less greasy and heavy. And so this is going to be great for somebody who really hates that heavy, oily feeling. Um, and you can always, you know, go with a lotion or cream or a gel as well, but that, you know, that's gonna require 
a little bit more hunting. And then of course, when you start moving into lotions, creams, and gels, you wanna make sure you're checking out the ingredient label. You know, just like with food, if you're seeing this massive list of unpronounceable things, then you know, maybe consider if you want you know, all of that stuff in your body. Um, you know, it's completely up to you. And uh, what, what you wanna do or not. Anyways, another thing I really like about this um, benevolent nourishment oil is that they uh, have wild crafted their plants. And so, in, 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 they haven't just wild crafted, wild crafted them. That means that they've harvest, harvested them in nature um, in a sustainable way. But it also tends to mean that you know, you're also talking about more potent botanicals if you are pulling them from nature. It's gluten-free, certified organic, made in the U.S., no parabens, phthalates, or synthetic fragrances. This is like, I I would, I'm considering purchasing some of this, I am personally super sensitive to fragrances. And honestly, I think that, you know, if, if you can do this, you know, in a way that, like, if if it wouldn't be too much of a, a shift or an impact you know, for you, um, I think that switching away from things with synthetic fragrances in it and then, you know, like our cleaning products and our shampoos and our lotions and our air fresheners can have a profoundly significant impact on our health. Um, especially for those of us who have, uh, you know, just been inundated with these synthetic chemicals, you know, just that's kind of part of our lifestyle. And, you know, you really can't, well, I mean, it's different when, you know, say you're at work or out in public, you know, you may be able to shift how things are done at, you know, wherever you're, wherever you work. But, um, you know, in the home, we do have a fair amount of control about what we introduce into our home environment. And so, you know, if this would be a low stress shift, you know, you can even do it gradually. Like as you run out of one thing, try replacing it with uh, a chemical or and fragrance free product. Um, you know, it, it, you know, you might notice like we, little weird symptoms kind of going away, like you know, skin irritations, little headaches, um, sinusy things easing up as uh, the load on your body is eased. Because everything we put into our body, everything that we breathe in, everything that goes onto our skin needs to be filtered somehow. And so the liver has to do a lot of work to, you know, filter out all of these random crazy chemicals and the, you know, the crazy chemicals that the combinations and the products result in you know, it's a lot of work to like get, you know, process that chemical and get it out or store it if we can't, if the liver doesn't know what to do with it. And, um, you know, it's just, it could potentially be a really simple or easy way to leverage some better health into your life by switching over, you know, just taking the things that you use on a regular basis and turning them, you know, away, you know, choosing something that's not a poison and Instead, choosing something you know, like like this benevolent nourishment oil that is actually going to be a positive gain for the body. You're getting, you know, the, the oil is you know food grade, and these essential oils are very healing. So it's kind of like giving the body a gift versus you know a tiny little wound with crazy chemicals and you know and that this is also not to say that I don't 
understand that you know there's reasons why you buy Glade air fresheners, right? You don't. No one wants to have a stinky bathroom or walk into a smelly home. You know, it's not as if we started using all these chemicals willy nilly. You know, they serve a purpose. They do something. They work hard for us. That's right. I totally, completely, one hundred percent understand that this is not always or even often a simple or easy transition you know you have to find something that you like something that does the job of the thing that you have replaced and so you know always err on the side of uh, less stress for yourself and if it's feeling like this is a something that you don't you know isn't going to have a net positive impact like the stress of switching over you know um the not having the products that you like not feeling like something's doing the job then you know maybe you can do something other than removing chemicals to shift shift your health you can't do everything at once and it's silly to try out like a light. This oil is super, super relaxing. I have a, I have a lavender plant at home. I kept it through one summer and a winter, so I think I'll actually be able to start maybe harvesting some of the, the leaves and flowers in the near future. You can also like, drink lavender as a tea. back to you know the skin's absorbability um, the feet uh, absorb things at a much quicker a significantly quicker rate than you know other parts of your body <laughs> if they're in a reflexology book they're like well and you know to prove this rub a rub a raw garlic clove on your feet and see how long it takes for you to be able to taste the garlic and i'm like oh actually no i don't think i'll do that i'll just you know take your word for it um yeah but it makes sense the feet are just generally an incredibly sensitive area of the body with all their extra nerve endings and so it kind of makes sense to me that the feet would also just be more absorbent and so you know using an oil or a lotion that's infused with essential oils or infused with, you know, plants, you know, cause you could get like a double oil, you know, you could infuse an oil with, you know, the raw material and then add essential oils to it, um, you know, or, or buy and buy an oil like that. Um, anyway, so like, you know, just the topical applications, whatever you're going to, you know, like be using, it's going to be more effective to a, you know, to a point if you apply your healing whatever to your feet. So you can, you know, just going back to lavender, you know, uh, foot soak with, with a few drops of lavender oil. Um, even um, lavender oil, it generally can be applied to the skin safely without any, you know, carrier or base oil. You know, because generally it's a very bad idea to put straight or neat essential oils directly on the skin. And the two general exceptions to that are lavender and tea tree. If, you know, and so if you actually, if you have cuts or blemishes, um, a drop or two of lavender 
and or tea tree or combined um, is a great, great remedy. And so kind of understanding our skin's role in the body, in addition to its protectant, protective role, you know, our skin is also, as it absorbs, it also, you know, excretes. So working with our skin and taking advantage of its potential for absorbing good things and for helping us get rid of the things that don't help our body kind of makes you... At least it makes me feel really grateful for this uh, complex organ that we have. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you, if you haven't already, um, will please take the time to, or the two seconds to subscribe to our channel. Uh, please also feel free to check out our ASMR massage and spa channel where I give Karina massages while softly speaking ASMR style or doing whispery guided meditations. There's a lot to, a lot to love. Please also consider subscribing to our Patreon and you can get even more amazing videos like this one. I'm Melissa Lemonian from SensibleToolbox.com signing off. Thanks so much, everybody, and I will see you soon.